Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Uh, we're just sitting around the island here, finishing up with breakfast here on this Thursday, uh, week three of our little quarantine experience. And uh, we came across this fun little proof that as you kind of go step by step, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it tries to convince you that two is equal to one. And you're thinking, what in the world is going on? So first of all, I guess I just want to walk through step by step and try to make sure we understand what was taking place in each step and why it seems to be legit, why everything seems to be on the level. And then we'll talk about what the so-called illegal move was and where this fell apart. So first, right off the bat, we just start with this initial premise that A is equal to B. And um, that's what most proofs start off with is some premise or assumption. Um, and so what they did first is they just multiplied both sides of the equation by A. So if we multiply this side by A, we multiply this side by A. And I think that's one of the comments you're just going to see Whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do it to the other. And as long as I follow that simple universal rule, then it's so-called it, it's a legal move. So um, here, A times A made A squared. B times A made AB. And then what we did is we subtracted a B squared from both sides. Again, legal. So I had A squared minus B squared here, AB minus B squared on this side. And then the next move is right in our wheelhouse. We factored both sides. So on the left-hand side here, we had a difference of two perfect squares. On the right-hand side, we took out a GCF of B. And then we said, you know what? Both sides could be divided by the quantity A minus B. Okay? And that's going to help us simplify this expression. So you get these bears to cancel on the left and these bears cancel on the right. Um, from there, we made a, the next move was a really um, interesting move that uh, took me a second to see. But basically, remember how we said at the beginning that A is equal to B? So what we did right here is we substituted or replaced this A with a B since they're equal to each other. So imagine taking the A out and replacing it with a B. So B plus B made 2B. Um, we just carried the other side down as is. And then from there, we divided both sides by B. And once the B's canceled, we were left with this crazy idea that 2 is equal to 1. And we said, wait a minute, we know that's not true. So something went wrong. And the so-called mistake here is going to be sitting right here in the pink, um, the pink uh, color. So what happens is, do you remember how we said A was equal to B, right? Well, imagine, you remember how we replaced this A with a B and we added them to make B plus B was 2B? Well, do the same thing here. Replace this A with a B. Now, B minus B makes what? Zero. And there's the problem. We are not allowed to divide by zero. So this right here was the illegal move that made this uh, illegitimate proof. So hopefully you enjoyed that little challenge, crazy little problem. And um, I'll catch you guys later. Did you see that spider? You didn't do that.